The San Francisco Giants drop Game 2 of the series to the Los Angeles Dodgers by a score of 10-3. to And this game, guys, was not the best of games for your San Francisco Giants. Uh, the pitching very much struggled in this game, guys. Uh, to start out, Drew Pomerantz started for the Giants today, guys. He went four innings, gave up three hits, and gave up three runs. But those three runs, so they came in an inning where it was the fourth inning and the Dodgers had got the first two leadoff guys on base. And so it was already starting to not look like a very good inning. And then David Freese came up and hit a ball to the opposite field, to right field. And upon further review, it hit the little piece of metal uh, just over the wall in right field and so they called it a home run and it led to a three-run home run for the Dodgers and at the time the Giants were holding on to a one nothing lead and that erased the one nothing lead and made it 3-1 and so it, later on in the game the Giants brought in Ty Block uh, whom they called up from AAA when Derek Holland went on the injured list and Ty Block really struggled in this game guys uh, pitching three and a third innings, but got lit up in in one inning specifically. Gave up a lot of runs to uh, the Dodgers, and basically it led to the game just getting way out of hand. And obviously, with it being three to one, um, the game was still within striking distance. But then, with ha this having happened, um, you know, basically things just got out of hand. So. Um, Unfortunately, it was what it was. Um, some of the storylines that we're going to take out of the game, guys. So Buster Posey was uh, came away with a very good game, guys. Went one for three. Started, uh, continuing that hot streak with the bat, I think. Uh, still see, feeling good with the bat. And the Giants took him out to preserve his legs. Um, so we'll see if, he, um, if he's playing tomorrow. And... Um, <clears throat> So no, some other statistics of the box score, guys. Joe Panic went one for four. He's hitting 202 on the year. Uh, you have Harvey Salarte. Hard to say that one. One for four. He's hitting 238. And we got uh, Brandon Bell went one for three, guys, hitting 237. Kevin Pillar, he came up clutch in this with the RBI single. It was to give the Giants the early one nothing lead. He's got his average up to 230 on the year. So, guys, the Giants finished the month of April with a record of 12 and 18. Uh, not the best month that they were looking for to start out the season. Um, they are trailing the Los Angeles Dodgers now by seven games out of first place. But uh, tomorrow they have a chance to win the series. So I think it's going to be very critical, um, you know, game tomorrow to get off on the right foot and win a series from the Dodgers and try to get within six games. Brandon Crawford had a slow month in the month of April, uh, finishing hitting 200 with a 28 strikeouts. So um, again, not uh, the best of things. And so, yeah, guys, today's game, the Giants suffering the worst loss of the 2019 season, having lost 10-3, dropped by 7. Um, and on the f current five-game homestand, the pitching has allowed 36 runs. So, guys, uh, the pitching needs to turn things around. So, again, this was just a hiccup in the road for tonight. And we really got to bounce back tomorrow. The Giants will be sending Madison Bumgarner to the hill to try to win the series against Hunshin Ryu of the Dodgers. And so I'm very much excited. Uh, looking forward to that one. It is not going to be a day game, though, the finale of the series, guys. It will be another night game. Uh, so cannot wait for that. In other Giants-related news, guys, Johnny Cueto has begun his throwing program following Tommy John's surgery. So the news was that Johnny Cueto was to be returning in September of this year. So I highly anticipate the Giants readying for a playoff run, hopefully coming, and Johnny Cueto being able to come back and do big things out there for your San Francisco Giants. If you guys like this video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment down below. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions and perspectives on the 2019 San Francisco Giants. Uh, how are you guys feeling after the 
uh, loss of the tonight uh, to the Dodgers and uh, really the start to the season as a whole. Um, I know it's still early one month into the year, but are you concerned about the 12 and 18 start? So comment down below. I would love to hear your guys' perspectives. And until next time, I'll see you guys again. Thanks for watching and have a great day.